Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I've been enjoying these videos. Um, so today we have another special one for you guys. We have a whiskey company, or I should say bourbon company, um, coming out of Nevada that has been really picking up steam the last year or so. Um, people are really loving the offerings that they are releasing. Um, they release a regular bourbon. They released a uncut uh, version, which is more of a high proof version of their product. This company is now doing a fun series called their single grain series. So super, super cool. When I found this bottle um, coming to the store, uh, it only came in a half size bottle, I believe, uh, upon release. And I think it may be offered now in a full size bottle. I'm not too sure, but I was able to pick up a half size bottle and it wasn't cheap. I think I may have spent 50 bucks on this bottle. Uh, but people have really been enjoying this company. I had my first try of their bourbon um, around December of this last year uh, when I had a Flaviar box. I don't know if any of you guys know what that is, but it's like a, they had a whiskey advent calendar for Christmas time. Um, so I was able to try um, their uncut version and it was amazing. I would thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so I had no problem spending the $50 to buy their single grain series because I thought, why not? Um, so to commemorate the first time that I actually tried their product. I'm using my Flaviar Glen that came with my box. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but the, the bourbon I'm talking about today, um, well, I guess I actually can't call it a bourbon because it doesn't contain any corn. Um, so this is actually going to be uh, an American whiskey, I should say, um, for their single grain series. So we're gonna be talking about the Frey Ranch um single grain series this is their hundred percent wheat whiskey um so super interesting if you guys um don't know too much about bourbon or whiskeys um you get a lot of that kind of butterscotch caramel sweetness um from the wheat um so i i'm a huge fan of high weeded bourbons um you know makers is a weeded bourbon um, so there's a lot of different ones. Um, so I'm expecting this to be probably pretty sweet, not too spicy. Although it's going to have a little bit of punch to it, it is 102 proof, um, but it's probably going to come across, I'm expecting at least, um, for it to come across with a lot of caramel, a lot of butterscotch, maybe a bit of vanilla, uh, and probably some fruit notes too, probably some apple or pear. I'm not sure. So um, that's what we're here for. So let's get into it. Let's crack this new bottle open and see what this $50 bottle brings us. All right, let's get that cork out. Okay, not, ooh, not too big of a cork pop. Don't want to spill it out of the top there. Um, let's pour it and see what we got. All right. Oh, also, I forgot to mention this single grain. So it's 100% wheat. It's 102 proof, so pretty strong. Um, it has been aged for six years and three months, so it's got some age to it as well. Um, so it should be interesting. So let's give it a smell and see what we got. Oh. It's got a little bit of funk to it. Not gonna lie, it's got like a, like a dusty, a dusty note to it. I'm trying to pick up what I'm smelling. It's got a lot of what I'm thinking is fruit on there, but it's kind of got a weird, a weird fruit. I like can't pick it out. It's almost like it's, it's like a pear, like I thought it might, um, or like an apricot, but it's almost like a dried, like week old apricot or pear. So yeah, all I'm really getting on the nose, not getting a lot of caramel actually on the nose. Um, or a lot of barrel or anything like that. I'm getting a lot of um, of that fruit. It's kind of got like a sour fruit funky kind of note to it, uh, which isn't unpleasant. It's definitely unique and different, um, but you're gonna get some weird stuff when you don't have other grains. You have one grain, um, so it's kind of having to do all the lifting of the whiskey. Um, so it might be good, it might be bad. Who knows, let's find out. Oh, it's got like a, now that I'm thinking about it, it's got like a Sharpie smell. Have you ever like, I know you're not supposed to, have you ever like smelled a Sharpie? It's kind of got that kind of like alcoholic, like kind of like sour funk to it. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like I'm making like a big banner with this right now. 
All right, let's see what it tastes like, though. Now, on the taste, it really starts off really well. Like, I'm talking apple crumble a la mode, right? I got the, I got the kind of wheat, you know, it kind of tastes like that crumble of like an apple crumble. Um, you get a little bit of that like pear apple flavor to it. And then you also get kind of like a creamy vanilla note as well. It's really, really nice in the beginning. The mid palate gets a little bit of that Sharpie note come back in. Not that I've ever tasted a Sharpie, but I can assume what it would probably taste like the smell. But then the finish is very pleasant. The finish finishes very uh, butterscotch, um, slight maple, but more butterscotch. Um, really nice. Uh, it probably just needs to open up a little bit, and over time it'll probably lose that like Sharpie note, hopefully. Um, do I think it's a $50 bottle? No. I really don't think that this bottle is necessarily worth $50. I don't think I'd spend $50 again for it. It is definitely interesting. You don't get a lot of single grain whiskeys out there. Um, so it's fun. Yeah, going back on the nose, definitely get some of that like apricot, like the skin of an apricot. If you were to dry it, that's exactly what I'm picking up. But yeah, it also has that fun too. I can't, I keep, I can't stop thinking about a Sharpie, like a black Sharpie. Um, you know, especially too, I don't know if you've ever smelled a black Sharpie, but when you hold it too close and it kind of tingles your, tingles your nose, like it, it hurts a little bit. That's exactly what this gives me. I will say on the palate, it is for me at least so much nicer than the smell. The smell, if you can find that fruit, it's nice, but the palate is so creamy. Full body, coats your mouth. You get a lot of that butterscotch, a lot of that kind of breadiness to it. It's delicious. Um, you kind of have to jump through that kind of Sharpie note that you get in the mid palate. But overall on the taste, it is really good. I don't know if I would buy it again. I just like their uncut version so much more. You know, it's got other grains in it. To me, it's got a little bit more balance and, you know, it's got some more spice to it. It's got a little bit more of that corn sweetness. Um, it's just overall a little bit more well-rounded for me, at least. Uh, not to say that this is this is bad by any means. Um, it's just different and not something I would probably choose to buy again. So, um, but it is an interesting buy. If you haven't tried it, um, definitely recommend the half-size bottle, but the regular stuff is so much better. Um, at least to me. But yeah, um, so that was the Frey Ranch. Um, Frey Ranch single grain series, 100% um, wheat. So try it, check it out. If you've had it, let me know you've had it. Tell me what you think. It's super interesting. I don't think I'd buy again, but it's a cool one. You don't get a lot of single, single grain stuff, you know? Um, Everything usually has some other grains in it. So definitely, definitely, definitely worth a try. Uh, but yeah, that's Frey Ranch. They're based out of Nevada. So if you want to, go visit them. Yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the review today. Um, that was the Frey Ranch Single Grain Series. 100% wheat whiskey that's been aged for six years. Um, it smells like a Sharpie. Somewhat tastes like a Sharpie, but in the middle you do get a little bit of that kind of uh, apple crumble with a little bit of creamy ice cream on top. So if you can get past the Sharpie, this one's for you. Hope you guys enjoyed. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit the bell to stay informed on when all my other content is coming out. Uh, my girlfriend just created an Instagram account for my YouTube channel, which is super fun. Um, so you can stay informed that way as well. I'll leave that in the description down below. Um, all my other links will be down below as well. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. This was another whiskey today. Um, I think next time we'll move a little bit away from whiskey. I got a couple of tequilas, uh, and a couple rums as well. Uh, mix it up, you know, maybe I even got some vodkas as well. Uh, and I've had a couple mixed drinks lately too. So, um, come back, hang out with us, uh, and we'll see you next time. All right. Have a good one guys. Peace.